Hello again everybody, welcome back to Lily Lulu. My name's Karen, I'm the Junk Journal Geek. Thank you for joining me, whether you are coming back or you are a first time visitor. Thanks for joining me today. So today I'm working on a design team project for Sunny Creates. This beautiful kit is called Pink Christmas and I will link all the relevant bits and pieces that you need to know in the description below. So um, I'll quickly flick through the kits and then I'll explain to you what I have in mind to do. Um, while I wasn't well, I had an idea come to me and I'm going to give it a try on camera. So it may or may not be successful, but um, whatever happens, you, at least you'll get to see this beautiful kit. So I think the kit is, I think it was 31 pages um, and 10 of those pages are ephemera pages. I have printed this on basic um, 80 GSM copy paper so the colours are not as vibrant um, and truthful as they otherwise would be but I've done that because of how I want to use the papers. I wanted it to be on um, lightweight paper. Also halfway through printing this um, one of my inks needed changing so again the colours may not be um, exact representatives of the kit but they always look different on screen to how they look when they're printed anyway because you know we've all got different printers we all use different inks we all use different papers so nothing's ever exactly as it appears on screen so but I absolutely love the colours in this kit. My living room is actually pink and grey so um, this would be brilliant to use for some sort of decorations if I can get my head around how to do that. Um, we've got journal cards here, we've got two um, landscape and then two portrait ones. Um, we've got tags, large tags, we've got pockets, We've got an envelope um, that could be a bookmark or a belly band and then a couple of tickets. Some more tags, These this time with the fancy tops. A larger envelope and some more tickets. A smaller tag and a couple of postcards. And we've got a file folder, some more tickets, um, some blank labels some smaller pockets, another envelope, and then some little um, flags. Then we've got this sheet of words. So they're all, um, you know, words relating to Christmas. I won't read them all out. And then some little labels down here. And then some more background type pages. So it really is a beautiful kit. So I don't know what's coming out on how it's coming out on screen, but it is all pink and grey. Max, get down. He's at it again. He's got off of his sofa and got onto my sofa because he knows I'm talking to you all. And then we've got a couple of these um, collage pages. So that's the kit. Now, what I had in mind to do, I was thinking about the um, tab bound booklet that I made um, that was inspired by Carol Laws. And I thought, I wonder if I could make a little journal from Sorry, I'm just tying my hair up. I'm having a bit of a hot flush. I think I've still got a bit of a temperature. Um, I wanted to use some envelopes to make a journal. And what I had in mind was, what if to join the envelopes together, um, I used the papers. So just to explain what I mean, 
if I had, if these were the pages in my journal, if I stuck <laughs> a paper to this page and then stuck the other half onto that page, that would join my pages together. That's what I'm going to try and do. I don't know if it will work. I don't know if it will be substantial enough. Um, and I thought then I could have, because they're envelopes, each page will have a little pocket and I can use it um, as a, a little sort of Christmas notebook to keep track of what presents I've bought or, you know, shopping lists or people's sizes. You know, I could I could have a little card in each one for, for each person in my family and, have, and write all everything on there, you know, that I want to remember or think about. That's my idea. So... I don't know how if this is going to work. How many is that? One, two, three, four, five. Max, be quiet. Five. I've got seven envelopes here. I didn't count these envelopes. I just literally pulled envelopes out um, that were, you know, roughly the same size as each other. Um, I don't know how fat I want this to be bearing in mind um, it's only going to be held together with paper I think that might be too chunky once each pocket's got you know a card in there um, I think that's going to be too chunky so Take a couple out the middle. One, two, three, four. There's five there. I think that might work. So we'll keep those envelopes for something else. Um, and now I'm just deciding whether I want all of the openings to be at the top. Or if I maybe want to seal some of the tops and have some opening at the sides. I think I'll keep them all at the top. Um, right, so shall we have a go and see how we get on? Um, I've got a window there. Mm, now, I wonder if... If I go the other way... It's at the back then, right. I think I'm going to ignore the windows and cover them rather than try and cut around them and have them as actual windows. So maybe I'll use these ones that have got stickers on. Um, then it doesn't matter, I'm covering them up. Right. So then I need to cut my papers to be the size that they need to be for each envelope. So this is going to be roughly six and a half by about four and a half. I may... I think I might cover these and then trim them because they're all slightly different sizes. So I might tr um, trim them down once I've covered them and then we'll have neater edges at the top and all my pages will be the same size. Although if I put that yellow one on the front... Sorry, I know I'm doing a lot of faffing here. Um, oh, that's better. And that fits this yellow envelope is slightly bigger than all the others. So if I use it as the outside, um, that, that sorts that out. So 
I'm assuming that these envelopes are going to be roughly, yeah, they're just shorter than the paper. Um, I was just wondering if I could wrap that round and then sort of continue that. But no, I think I'll cut, cut each sheet down. So let's have a look at what we want to use where. So I want something nice on the cover. Not that any of this isn't nice, but you know, something. So they would look quite nice on the cover. So I'm looking at what's on the right hand side. Oh, this would be quite nice on the cover if it's a Christmas book, because that's a Christmas tree. So that's a possibility. Um, That won't be centre. So they were a possibility. Not that one. Oh, that one's quite nice. Christmas tales, I could you would that fit on there? Christmas tales, that might just fit on. And then I'd be losing that at the bottom. That definitely not. I do not want to cut that angel in half. These, you know, and these could be written on or these ones I think I will use um, for the cards that are going to go inside. And I don't know if these are going to be the right size. They might just be the right size. So I might use these on the front and then this on the back, you know, of the journal cards. I will see. I think the, um, the, what are these called? <laughs> the tags may be too big um, because they'll be poking out at the top quite a lot. So I'll probably save those either for another project or for decorating. The pockets and things, I'm not sure if I'm going to need. So all these ephemery type pages, I might save for another time. Um, these could be used as journal cards. These more decorative ephemery bits. Lots of those. I may well use the words when we come to decorate. So I'll put those over there as well for the moment. And then these pages, um, you know, going to be good for all my little writing spacey type things. So we'll just put those and, and these in a separate pile for when, whoops, for when we want to make the journal covers. Oh, hang on, I've got too many of those there now, haven't I? I've just picked up. I want to keep these ones. Sorry, I'm getting myself in a pickle here. Trying to get organised, and I'm got got my piles confused. Right, these are for later. So all of these can be pages, and these are my choices for the front. Right. So we can either have Christmas tales. We could have the little boy and the little girl, or we could have the Christmas tree. I'm, I think I'm going to save the little boy and the little girl for something else. Do you know what I think I'm going to do? Oh no, it's the wrong way round. Ignore me. I think I'm going to try and get this on the front. So let's glue that bit first. Let's get started. Got my, I have no idea if this is going to work or not, if it's going to be too flimsy or anything like that. Um, 
but I'm going to give it a go and it's it's going to be for me so if it works I might make some more you know in case anybody wants to buy them um, in case I do any sort of fair or event or anything not I'm, pl I'm not planning to at the moment but never say never um, I've mentioned before that this year is going to be very busy for me so I think it's highly unlikely I'm going to be doing any events or anything um, but as this is just for me you know I can see if it works or not so that's my front cover so I will I want the Christmas tales centered on that I'm just, I hope I'm not sticking my head under the camera and it can go over a little bit but not too much and I hope that's straight I could do with my doesn't look straight well it's gonna have to do right so what I need to decide I think what I'm going oh I should have made that down a bit lower Ooh, I wonder if I can I just thought I'm gonna move that down a little bit lower um, so that I can tuck that top edge in um, to strengthen the edge where the tags are going to be going in and out, the journal cards. So let's try that again, Karen. So um, if I if I know that straight, I'm going to try and lay this down without moving. I do hope I'm not sticking my head in your face. I apologise if I am. I want that to come over a little bit. I want my Christmas Christmas tales has got to be centred. Where's that fold? So that's nine and thirteen and a half. I think that's about right. Okay, let's try that again. Still not straight. I straightened that up on my mat, so I don't know how it's not straight. But, and it needs to come down very slightly. Oh dear. <laughs> I'm so sorry for making such a meal of this. Oh, come on. Please stay where I put you. I should really put some masking tape down on this envelope so it doesn't move while I'm trying to position this. I think the first one's going to be the trickiest because, you know, it's the cover. You want it to look right-ish. Um, oh, let's move that envelope again. I'm holding this up to the light so that I can see through the paper roughly where the edge of the envelope is now I've given up using my mat right I'm hoping that that is straight ish just as well I'm using glue stick So what I'm going to do here is snip this corner a 
and then where the fold is in the envelope which you may not be able to see on camera I'm just going to take a little V out there to help reduce the bulk she says and then I'm going to fold this edge over onto the inside of the envelope So that that's protected when we're popping things in and out and I think I've got my fold in the wrong place look at that how annoying can I slide it over I'm not gonna have any paper left at the end of this I might keep moving this around all have disintegrated oh you know what I should do so this is why people do prototypes off camera I should fold this And then line my fold up. Now I might have to um, pop something on there where I've cut that V in the wrong place now. Um, I'll probably have to pop something there to disguise that. But let's hope this works now. Okay, that is a little bit better. So I want, where's that little snip? Little snip of pink. And what I'm going to do Under there so it's not quite so obvious let's refold that line so we can see where it needs to be scissors and I believe it's not straight again, but if I carry on with this much longer, I'll lose the will to live. So we'll just roll with it. Right, so that's under there now. We'll worry about that half in a minute. This is going to be covered with another sheet of paper, so I don't need to worry about that. I should really wait to fold this until it's dry, but hey ho. This is where I need my little V to be. there go under and stick right and then do I want Father Christmas on the back page or is he going to be chopped off he's going to be chopped off so what I will do I'm going to tear that um, and then we will cover the back page separately. But we're 
just get this edge dark down. So this could end up being quite a long process. So um, we may have one more, more than one video. Um, we shall see. So now that I'm just going to cut that there. Going to cut that there. And I'm going to just pop these down just so that I've got a neat edge. Here. Right. So then let's pop our pages back in. That is going to be our cover, which looks quite nice, doesn't it? So now what I need to do is stick something on there and on there. I think we need to do half, half at a time. So shall we do a bit of, how many have I got? sheets there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So let's have a bit of, do a bit of alternating I think. So Okay. So what I was thinking when I put that on the front, I thought, oh, I could stick that one on the back and that would be like looking in into the house and this is looking out of the house, but it's on the wrong side, so that won't work. So let's get this on. Um, now, the only trouble here is... If I centre that, I'm going to lose this gnome. I'm going to cut through that gnome, which sounds a bit painful to me. Um, so let's see. just thinking I think I'm going to use a plainer one I might use some of those plain pages as well um, yeah it doesn't really matter if we lose anything there okay let's do this one next so first of all oh this is this is taxing my brain <laughs> First of all, I'm going to stick this side on. And this is going to be my first attachment. So I'm going to pop this down 
in the bottom left corner because I've tidied that edge, both of those edges up. So they're, they're okay. Then I am going to take off my excess at the top. fold this over so that I know where my edge is I don't want to fold this really yet because the glue hasn't dried but I need to see roughly where I'm working to so hopefully that's in the right place <sighs> okay so let's mitre these again I keep picking up the big scissors where's my little scissors I only need my little snips for this don't I I really hope the light's okay so this one I'm going to do the same again but this page is going to be stuck onto the other part of the book. So let's fold in this side. I feel like I should have some baking paper in these pockets while I'm working on them to stop everything sticking together. I don't think I've got any to hand. So that's the second page. That looks quite pretty. Now what we need to try and do is stick this piece on here aha now you see I haven't this isn't already wrapped so I've got a blank edge there so I should have um should have thought about that so what do I want to do about that let me think for a moment so if that goes on there, I really want something on here that's wrapping around this bottom so that I've got a neat edge here before I stick that on. Okay. Can you hear my brain working? <laughs> so I need to be really careful with this because if I get something out of line, you know, by the end of the book, it's going to be way, way out and very, very obvious. I was cold when I started this video and I'm getting hot and bothered now. <laughs> really tied my hair up. Okay, so if we have that there, I 
I think it's going to be a bit of a higgledy biggledy book because um, I'm not sure that the envelopes are 100% square. Um, so any attempt at perfection is really going to be a waste of time, isn't it? Okay, so maybe we should alternate with a planer page. that we can wrap and then we can stick that round. Maybe I should do that next. Should we have a bash at that? And of course, these are all <laughs> checked. So it's gonna be very obvious if anything is um, out of line, isn't it? Does it really matter, Karen? the end of the day it is a junk journal sorry I'm hesitating Just do it, just do it, Karen. You can always stick things over things if you don't like the way it looks. Right. I want to take some of this off here. How much do I want it off? Okay. And let's see where the crease is going to be. This is working out. <laughs> so, want that piece to fold in there. And then I want this piece to come along here. And that piece to come up along there. Is that what I want? <laughs> and then that piece can go on there and I've still got a tidy edge. Right, I think I know what I'm doing now. She says, I wonder if I should put this lamp on. Right, I'll probably get this one um, done, and I hope that's not too shadowy, but it's getting dark here. Um, I'll stick this on, and then I'll probably carry on and do some more off-screen, um, because you're, I, might, I might do one more, we'll see. And I think I'm going to have to... Um, worry about you know the edges afterwards and whether they're straight and need trimming and things right so now this is the piece I've just stuck onto this 
second envelope, I'm now going to stick this envelope onto this piece of paper or this piece of paper onto this envelope, however you want to look at it. Um, and that will join those two pages together. I'm just trying to make sure the bottom is lined up but it's as I say these envelopes are never actually square so it's not going to be a perfect science and should it be it is supposed to be a junk journal isn't it so I will just pop that round there and I'm going to stick that onto that piece um, because it all coordinates, so it doesn't matter if half the page is different. Um, so let's pop that down. Sides tucking in there. And this little extra piece is tucking in there. So we have the cover, page one, page two, page three. Ho -ho! Then we need our next page. Let's try and get this as square as we can. So that is going to go there. So I can do the same again. I can fold this over and then this one will already have its edges sorted. And then I can do this side the same as the first one. Right. So shall we? Let's get that. <laughs> this is fun isn't it <laughs> oh 
I'm sorry I keep going quiet so I'm really thinking thinking hard as I'm doing this page that page well they're joined together something's working <laughs> okay let's do our snippety snip let's fold it so we can see exactly what we're doing I'm going to glue this piece in to protect this top edge. I think maybe now we've got I've got the hang of it. We're all right. Maybe the rest won't take as long now that I've got the hang of what I'm doing. I don't need that bottom bit on there because the other bit's going to wrap around it. I don't remember doing that on the last one, did I forget? Okay, and then we want this bit to be tucked in the top and stuck down. And I think you can probably see at the edges how wonky this is going to be. But as I say, it's the envelopes are not square to start with. So we're just going to have to live with that. So now, one, two, three. We've got two more. Obviously, the bulk of the envelopes um, is going to affect how this all lays and everything. But it's fun to try new things, isn't it? Different ideas. Right, where's my papers? So... Shall we have a collage one now? Quite nice, wouldn't it? So let's glue up this side. So I hope you can um, see what I'm doing. I mean, you can understand my logic and how I'm working this out and it's making sense to you. Oh look, I couldn't have planned that any better. This bottom left corner of this collage sheet is the same paper as we've just used. So anyone would think we planned it. <laughs> Don't go too far, Karen. Again, let's take a strip off the top. I've lots of strips left after this, haven't I? Uh, I keep squaring this up, but it's really pointless, isn't it? So again... what we're doing want a 
snip here. And a snip here. And then this one can turn under there. So maybe I will be able to get all the pages done today, the join together today and then maybe come back and do some journal cards or tags or something with you. Or maybe I'll do it all off camera after this and just come back and show you what I've done. We'll see how we go. Um, checking where we're up to so now again this one I want to cover first so that my edges are sorted before I wrap the bottom of that paper around so we've just had um, a collage sheet so that means that may be coming round there. I want, um, where was the one I thought I might have in the middle? I might have that angel in the middle actually. That might be quite nice right in the middle. Or we could have this. No, it's going to lose. It's going to lose things. It needs to be the angel or the nutcracker. So one of those two is going in the middle. So I think I want a plainer one. Let me think, I'm going to have something here. Right, how many pages have I got left? I just want to work this out before I stick anything down. So I've got this one, this one, and then the middle one. my brain can cope with at the moment. That might be quite nice. Right, okay. I'm just going back to remind myself what I've done. So I really want um, a plainer one again there. So what shall we have? Should we have a proper plain one? That might be quite nice, mightn't it? Right, I do know what I'm doing really, honest, honestly, just doing a very good impression of not having a Scooby-Doo. <laughs> you 
it all works in my head. It's just translating it to paper that's the problem. So we want to leave some again to fold over at each side. Nice snibbity snip snips. And the next one over is outside playing football. So if you can hear any noise, that's what it is. Um, oops, look at that. I've stabbed the paper with my snips. That's how sharp they are. There wasn't even any force behind that. They are good scissors. Right, so this is the one that that's going to fold onto. So, oops, <laughs> put my glue stick down upside down. Let's get that round there. Let's get that up there. In. Okay, so then this page is going to attach here. Oh, nearly got that the wrong way around. like so so we'll need another little snip here let's fold it see where it wants to be I do know what I'm doing really. I'm sorry I keep turning everything up and down and back to front, twisting it all round, but um, it's the only way I can do it. So that's going to glue onto there. So let's glue this up. Oh, we've been almost an hour. If I can just maybe get the first half of this done so that you can see what's happening with it all. Um, and then maybe I will finish it off. I thought this bit would fly past, fly, fly past? I'd fly through this bit now, but it's still taking a little bit of time. Right, so we're going to tuck that top edge in here. So we've got a nice protected edge there for that pocket. And then we're going to fold this edge over. going to tuck that top piece in there okay so now let's 
see where we are. We have our cover, the first page, second page, third page, fourth page. So is this right? We've got one, two, three, four. So this is our final page to go in. I've done something wrong here. Oh well, if I have, I have. <laughs> Soon find out. So let's stick this page down. I do feel like I have done something wrong somewhere, but I don't know what or where. Yeah, I can see what I've done. I'm supposed to stick the next envelope here, aren't I? I knew I'd done something wrong there. See, I was getting cocky then, <laughs> thinking, oh yeah, I'm steaming along, I don't know what I'm doing. And I came to a crashing stop. Right. Okay. Now this is going to be my centre page. So I'm probably going to stick that page on last so I think I'm going to go to the back and work my way forward covering the other pages and do this centre page last I'm losing the plot now <laughs> making all sorts of silly mistakes okay so we, we are getting there
this is my center page. So now what I'm going to do is work from the back, back to the center and cover the rest because I want my center piece um, to be centered and cover the edges. So, let's, there was another page, where's my half, the half that I cut off, well that's not it, that's green, no, it's Father Christmas, so can we Father Christmas on there. Mm, no, I'm gonna have I'm gonna have an edge there which I don't like, but I could pop some lace or something on that afterwards. Didn't think of that. I should have covered the whole thing in one go. Okay, well, we'll know for next time, won't we? If I make one again, I shall know what not to do. So, I think I'm going to leave it there because we've been over an hour and we're only halfway through and I may well continue this off camera until I've covered all the pages but you can see the process how I've joined the envelopes together um, in each case and then each page has a pocket at the top ready for me to pop things in so I will probably finish covering all these pages now that they're all joined um, and then come back and finish it off with you next time. So thank you for joining me today. I hope you found that interesting. I hope you got your head around what I was doing. I didn't. <laughs> and I will be back again with you very soon. In the meantime, take care, look after yourselves and enjoy your own crafty time. Bye bye.